program tonight all about getting money out of politics. Who would like to get money out of politics? Um, we'd like to thank our Drum and Fife Corps for coming in tonight. And our first speaker tonight is going to be Representative Corey Atkins. She is one of the representatives in the State House who is sponsoring S-772, which is the bill, the resolution calling to overturn Citizens United and give the democracy back to the people. So, Corey Atkins, if you would like to come on up. And so began the Occupy Boston Conference on Corporate Personhood. Corporate personhood is this concept introduced by the Supreme Court in January 2010 that corporations had the same spending rights as human beings did in political campaigns. Corey Atkins spoke passionately about the need to reverse Citizens United. We followed with a little play. There's no respect for authority anymore. Why, in my day, I couldn't go around calling elected officials corrupt. I should know. I campaigned for one. And who would that be, Mrs. Snodgrass? Richard Nixon, 1960. <laughs> we broke out into small groups and discussed a number of related issues. Then we got back together and listened to a panel discussion about some of the issues we had just discussed. Then we had another little play where I got to play the student. But the idiot boss fired me for insubordination. Next question. <laughs> I'm a student, but, but I'm afraid of taking student loans and being saddled with them for decades and decades. You have to live for your dreams. The girl I have sex with might want to get married. Sex and related expenses like condoms <laughs> are luxuries you may have to cut. And so ended the evening. We started the next day with Larry Lessig. I knew Larry from Stanford when I had been in computer science there. He was a legal opponent to the new copyright laws which we in computer science were so vehemently opposed. The framers gave us a republic, but what they meant by a republic was a representative democracy. And what they meant by a representative democracy, as Federalist 52 puts it, is a democracy where there was a branch of the government dependent upon the people alone. Right? So here's the model of government. We have the people and we have the government. I do my own slides. That's pretty cool the way that bounces. <laughs> so the people and the government, this marionette relationship so that the public good would be found in the context of this litigation between the people in the context of these representatives deciding what they should do. Here's the problem. Congress has evolved a different dependence. It's not just the dependence upon the people, it's increasingly dependence upon the funders. 30 to 70% of the time a member spends in Congress is time spent raising money. After questions, Larry was surrounded by a bunch of people who had interesting things to talk about. I had nothing to say myself, but I merely wished to bask in the glory of this man whom I admired so much. Then we had breakout sections. I went to one on activist team building. We were quite an assembly there, I'm guessing 150 people. After we reported on the results of our breakout groups, we returned for a little auction. Hello and welcome to today's Great American Monopoly Auction. The selling of the citizens! It's gonna be a lot of fun. We have a terrific group of corporate powers here. What's a first item up for bid? Oh, and please do say hello to my handsome clerk. Isn't he lovely? The first item up for bid is, let's start big, free speech. And we're going to sell it off right now. Don't look so surprised. The Supreme Court told us we could, and so we're going to right now. What am I bid? I, I can't, I can't hear you now. I can't, that I heard. I have one billion dollars from Goldman Sachs. One billion, he'll give me two, he'll give me two, he'll give me two, two billion, two billion. All right, sold for one billion dollars and what a bargain to Goldman Sachs. How can you top the selling of the American dreams? And so we didn't. We cleared it end to the conference and wandered home. I should have been depressed, but... 
watching the kids in the snow, somehow I wasn't.